no. I know better not to do shit when I'm tired. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All the footage from when I left Broom and got Sandfire and then finally hit my first bit of great dirt. The Boreline line track and Shea Gap Road into Pardu. Gone. Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> so all I've got left is what I took with my phone. Anyway, better than nothing. Oh well, live and learn. Almost tempted to go back and do it again. <laughs> Anytime. Hey, you just pull in here anytime you want. Thanks for your peace. Just pull it. straight in. Don't think I could have handled the chaos in the big town. No, no. Anyway, she's all packed up and she's ready to go. Oh, and uh, we'll see you down south. So let me know. Yeah. There you go. On yeah. Pits and track. I will. Let me know when you when you're going in and when you come out. Yeah. I if I survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I might do the smart thing and just um, park up at Sandfire and just pack the bare essentials, hammock, jet boil, yeah, water, and just go sense. do a ride and come back. Yep. We'll see. Anyway, we'll know once I get there and ask Mick Flanagan. Yeah, <laughs> Mick Lanigan. Lanigan, that's yeah. it. Yeah, sounds like an Irish Yeah, boxer. or Ken Norton. Or Ken Norton. Yep. Okay, I remember that. Bikes. Oh, quickie, said Bikes and boxing. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, darling. Too You're awesome. the best. How freaking funny. <laughs> Owen. So inadvertently, I know Owen. And Owen is the first person in 45,000 kilometres to turn around and chase me down. <laughs> so I met Owen out at Desert Raid 2019. So that was eight months after me joining Adventure Riders. That was my first trip out to the Great Victorian Desert. I remember you guys pulling up. So you had the BMW at the time. And uh, one of the guys that was with you, I remember he had beautiful colour eyes as well. I might have been your eyes. But yeah, there was no, there was three of yours and one had broken ribs or, yeah, really badly hurt himself on the way in. Yeah. Oh, that right. was a freaking awesome adventure, hey. So yeah, trying to get to the next one, but it all depends on the timing. So up the CSR to well five. So I was just speaking to Steve from Mungle Dog Productions yeah, the well, other day. Yeah. yeah. Steve, I missed out actually. I just did the timing right. I know. So quick story. So you've you've bought your set seven ninety now, and I do remember all your gear from the other bike. And um, so married and kids, and you've got a bit of a leave pass. <laughs> How long for? Oh, I'm thinking five weeks. Yeah. yeah. So your wife needs a medal and a Gucci handbag. <laughs> yeah, actually, she did get my handbag before I left. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not stupid. <laughs> She's happy. You're going to pay. <laughs> so you'd love to fly them up to Broome with the kids, hey? Uh, no, Darwin. It's, oh, Darwin, uh, sorry. It's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> it's cheaper. Don't fly to Broome. Uh, fly to if not, <laughs> you'll scoot back home, give them hugs and kisses and then head back out again. Yeah. Wicked. So you're just doing a big therapy lap. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody needs their therapy. And on, to be honest, this is cheaper and more fun than real therapy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm oh, so glad I stayed and caught up with you. And so we were just saying, so um, you caught up with Steve Hawkins. And I was just talking about him as I pulled out before. I was just saying that I caught up on his post. So Steve is from Greenbushes, and I met Steve on my first ever 32-day adventure. So it was only supposed to be one week down south. I had a bit of a light globe moment, stayed in the forest for 32 days, and I met Steve. Yeah. So I came out of the wild. He invited me over, cooked a fabulous bloody roast. Don't tell me about this roast. Yeah, it was amazing. He he's a it was pretty oh, good. he's a freaking good cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm go back down there for another one. And um, so he always rode on the on the blacktop, but you guys have converted him. 
you brought him over to the dirt side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't riding the, uh, the Tiger 800. Yeah, so, well done, Steve. Woo! Love He's crossing over to the dirt side. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait to get back down to Perth. I'm going to go to Green Bushes, swing by, pick him up, and take him out to Greenway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's his backyard. Yeah. Steve, it's where the magic is. I've been saying this forever, but you kind of get it now, don't you, darling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, darling. You too. Oh, it's Swinging around and yeah, go catch up to that rebel. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, well, that's bloody nice. Well, to be honest, if the girl could do it, so would I. <laughs> but I don't drink beer and she doesn't do 160. <laughs> oh, it's awesome meeting you, buddy. You have a safe ride to Brew. Yeah. <laughs> at the Sandfire Roadhouse and I bump into Steve so I've done a couple of rides with Steve on the David Austin rides and um, yeah what are they Steve? Big bike friendly rides? Big bike friendly my ass. <laughs> so Steve was on the ride when um, uh, one of the rides where David Austin on the top of this gnarly hill uh, back in Mount Cook and, um, and I just remember, you know, David Austin busting out a little bottle of port with these little, you know, the medicine shop glasses, little plastic cups that they give you a couple of yeah, tablets yeah. in at the hospital. Just a dash anyway, for bravery. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I remember saying to I David Austin, I said, oh, no, no, I'm all good. I don't drink, thanks. But everyone else had a shot. And then we went down that mountain. And you wish you'd had one. I wish I had <laughs> three. Three, I should have had three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. I'm going to go conquer that mountain one day. I'll have to go back one day. I've got to do You'll it. You'll do it easy. I have to do it, yeah. <laughs> so we miss you, Dave. Uh, can't wait to get back and do one of your big bike friendly David Austin rides. And everyone in power as well, hanging out. Can't wait to get back. Miss you guys. Anyway, so yeah, time for a drink. I've got to go get a cider. Corona is no problem at all. Yeah. <laughs> Leg envy. <laughs> Leg envy. Hello, boys. Did you have a good sleep? The donger didn't leak. <laughs> Beds were comfy. They were. Great. Great. So, what's the brands you stock? Cooper and Mickey Thompson are our key leading brands, so if you want the tires, they're the ones to go. All the brands that I remember from our race car days. <laughs> Guaranteed to last up to 80,000 kilometres. Shit, I should have got one of those. <laughs> we made them for I know. Maybe you should speak to the powers to be about that. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the research about that Kidson track, but... Um, one of the adventure riders was talking to me on Messenger last night and on his HEMA map pointed out that towards the southern end there's a whole stack of dunes oh, and it's okay. part of the CSR and they might not be issuing, well they're definitely not issuing permits for the CSR so yeah I'll do my research today. Yeah, just so you can enjoy as much as you can. Well I might, might go and bang and do a bit of it, yeah.
All right, see you back on the trails in Perth, Steve. See you, Craig. Enjoy. It's always an adventure. Watch out that black top. Uh, it's a jungle out there. All right, I gotta do some research. Jump online, see if I can get a permit, what the go is. So I'm across there on my bike and this trailblazer, she's across here on her bike. Look at this little weapon. Hey, hey, and you'll think I'm a bit out there. This is my beast. That's your beast. This is my beast and his name is Banjo. Oh, what a great name. It's a great name because it's named after the Winton uh, dinosaur raptor and my boy named him. Oh, wow. So it's got the three prong, you know. <laughs> raptor. Yeah. Yeah, How so sensational. And your now, cause. We're going, we're going on tracks, joining up a number of them to touch in on the 10 deserts of Australia. Yeah. And uh, promoting mental health. Yeah. And raising a whole bunch of money for Beyond Blue. Yeah. Because we all need support at times to stand on our own two feet. It's the best cause, it's isn't it? It's the best it? cause. Yeah. I yeah. talk about it heaps in my memoirs. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people who have been affected by it. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, sometimes just jumping on a bike, two wheels, and going out to the middle of nowhere is the best therapy ever. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's wonderful. So, yeah, so that's me. So, where did you start out from? Days, Brisbane. Oh, cycle from Brisbane to Birdsville. But the challenge is Birdsville to Birdsville in a clockwise direction. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, so far, I've done the Birdsville track, Nunadatta track. Great Central Highway, and now I'm heading around to Halls Creek to come down the Tanami. Yeah. The Garn Heritage Rail Trail. Oh my God, I did that. To Simpson. Back to Birdsville. I did that. So let me give you the heads up about that, or you'd rather not know. I don't want to know. Yeah, you good know girl. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know, and I did it, Stop and I'm it. glad I did it because I came out alive. <laughs> but right. yeah. Those, yep, those challenges will make or break you, but it made if me... If it doesn't challenge you, it won't challenge Correct, you. exactly. Yeah, you know, there's so certain I, things you do I'm in alive, your life. Yeah. this woman wants to grow. That's it. <laughs> if I'm not growing, I may as well just be dead. Ah, uh, you are a trailblazer and Thank a warrior. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's always an adventure. Yeah, yeah. Carry Thank on. You. <laughs> Thank you for promoting the no, 10 Desert Challenge. Always. 10 Desert Challenge. Yeah, 10 desert I'll challenge. do a screenshot for you, Dale. Well Follow. done. All the socials are on there and I blog every day, so enjoy yep. the story and the ride. Carry on. <laughs> and Maria's off. Oh. <laughs> See you, doll. Carry on. Carry on. <laughs> May the force be with you. So where to from here? Kind of didn't look at the map, didn't plan on that, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm packed up, I'm going. The adventure continues. I just gotta find dirt. <laughs> Let's go, carry on. camper. I've had a bit of dirt. <laughs> Yay! Have a couple of chicken wings. Get those calories back into me. Head down to Pardu, do a night out on the ocean. Now I really could have kept going and I probably should have. 
because I reckon I missed the best, 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 best parts of all that gap in those mountains. Should have kept going to Marble Bar, but I actually want a fresh tyre in um, Port Hedland because Desert Raid 2020 is coming up. So I need to look on the map, see where Waluna and Granite Peak is. And uh, I think it's two weeks away, so I better have a look and um, might zigzag my way across to that. Go do that. Spend my homies. It's a bit of a, that'll be a bit of a celebration, actually. It's my first massive big adventure when I took up riding. Anyway, get these chicken wings into me and go. Keep going. Woo! Good's that? <laughs> and how good's this? <laughs> oh, washing your shampoo in your hair. <laughs> Coffee time. <laughs> <laughs> so did I think my day when I woke up at Sandfire would end up like this? With this amazing chick. I found another sister from another mister. So she rides motorbikes. To Caddy! <laughs> and we're at the top of the hill at the amazing Pardu station. Watching the sun go down with red in hand and my double shampooed hair. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Cheers darling. It's always an adventure. Oh. Carry on. <laughs> oh. This is gold. <laughs> Who would have ever thought my day would have ended up like this? <laughs> <laughs>